Coach, congratulations on a great start. And uh, your kids have been throwing the ball well, and you've really been knocking the cover off of it. And talk to us a little bit about what you have. And I know it starts. It all starts with Kit Capel, who's going up to Western Carolina and is a really good player. But he's not the only one. Well, you know, it, it does help to start with such a good anchor. You know, uh, if you're putting a team together, I don't care if you're drafting it or, or coaching it or preparing for the future, you want to start with your backstop. And to have a, a guy like Kit Capel um, as our, our, our only senior and our only senior starter and um, doing what he does behind the plate. He has just been a, a wall behind the plate defensively. You know, the pitchers have confidence throwing balls in the dirt with runners on third. Uh, he controls the running game, literally shuts it down. Uh, and what he's doing at the plate right now has uh, just been phenomenal. Um, you know, so, but again, with that, you know, you say it's not just one player. To, to be able to have a great offensive uh, season, you got to have guys behind you and in front of you. Uh, and we got guys like uh, Robert Satcher hitting in front of Kit. That's uh, his own base percentage, I think, is around 600. And, and uh, actually, it's higher than that. I think he's batting 600. So, I um, mean, he's getting on base, and, and, and Kit's knocking him in. He's got Garrett Summers and Tyler Estridge hitting behind him that are both hitting over 400. And, and uh, really protecting him, making teams pitch to Kit Capel. And, and uh, he is the anchor of our team, and, and he's been a, uh, a great leader for us and, and a big reason that we're off to such a great start. Tell me a little bit about your pitching. Let's start with, obviously, your starting pitching. And I know you've got a, a young man that came in from Chapin uh, yep. that's, that's been doing very well. Yeah, uh, Nat Turner is, is the guy that uh, is going to be our guy we have to roll out there to beat somebody else's number one. Uh, he's only a sophomore, but has tremendous poise on the, on the, on the mound and uh, has a very good breaking ball that's an X factor for him. You know, his velocity's not overpowering, but uh, he gets them looking for that breaking ball, and, and it's night-night. You know, he's got enough fastball to get past them, and and uh, if they're sitting on anything but his curveball, they're not going to hit his curveball. And uh, uh, he's a very tough competitor and, and throws strikes. And, and I think that's what we've got right now as a staff. We've got three or four guys that are just throwing strikes and uh, letting us play defense behind them. And I think that's why our earned run average is so low, uh, because uh, we're just throwing strikes, forcing guys to, to get three or four base hits and ending the score, trying to limit doubles and home runs, and, and totally eliminate walks and hit batters. And uh, if you do that and play good defense, you're going to be successful at this level. Coach, you've been been around, uh, you know, obviously playing for Florida State and, and being a top draft choice, and you really, needless to say, have been around baseball. And everybody has their own idea about what it takes to win. T tell me about Jonathan Johnson's formula for success and what's working so well with these kids so far. Hey, number one, throwing strikes. I think with my pitching background, I understand uh, what what happens when you walk people, when you give people free passes, and, and when you look at the quality of hitters in high school baseball, you may have two or three legitimate hitters in a lineup. The rest, you know, they really have a 200% chance, a, a two in 10 chance of actually getting a hit when you pitch strikes to them. And, and uh, if we can take that a step forward, uh, 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 further and, and change speeds and throw those for strikes, then those guys are, are sub 100 hitters. And, and uh, that's what I try to preach to my pitchers. I don't care what kind of stuff you've got. If we'll change speeds a little bit, if we'll throw strikes, we'll throw strikes down in the zone, uh, we're going to be successful. It becomes a defensive game then. And if we're solid defense, you're not going to lose ball games. Um, you know, we, we have a hitting philosophy of, of just using the entire field and, and not trying to generate more power than you've actually got in your body. And you do that by using the backside gap. You end up uh, hitting the ball to center field, up the middle. And, and uh, you know, we get a lot of extra base hits because we teach to hit the ball with carry, with backspin, and we teach doing that with a proper bat plane and, and a proper bat path and not, uh, not sitting back and trying to sit on your back leg and launch and those type of things but we just try to teach a, a proper bat path and and um, and that's our philosophy you know we're going to hit the ball hard we're going to take good approaches at the plate and we're going to throw strikes and we're going to play good defense and you know I think that's the key to, to winning baseball games. Have these kids uh, your lineup is very heavy with underclassmen. Uh, Kit's a senior but yep. that's about it right as yep. far as. Kit Kit's our only senior and uh, we're going to hate to lose him but we got a very good catcher and Lee Metz waiting to uh, to take his place next year and and uh, all of our pitchers will be back and, and uh, our entire lineup except Kid will be back and, and we have a couple really good freshmen right now in JV so uh, I'm excited about next year but uh, I'm still excited about this year we got a chance to do some great things this year and and don't want to look past uh, an opportunity this year of what may be oh, next yeah. year because you never know who will be healthy and who ends up moving or coming back or not making grades what have you so 
Um, we're going to look at this year first, but uh, we do have a bright future here at Ben Lippin. All right, man. Great to catch up with you here on a beautiful day. You're playing a little bit later, right? Playing yeah, tonight playing at 7 o'clock tonight against Pack Homeschool team, and uh, hopefully they'll give us a, a good game, and and, um, and we'll play good and, and do what we're supposed to do. And then who do you have coming up the rest of the week? Uh, playing a tough team, Calhoun Academy, on Thursday. Uh, Bill Spires, a tremendous baseball oh, player yeah. in his own right, and, and a great coach. Look forward to playing his team, and his son's a good player, and they got some good arms, so that's going to be a good challenge. They got good arms. We got good bats, and right. and uh, it should should be a good matchup here at Ben Lippin uh, Thursday at uh, six o'clock. Thursday at six o'clock, Coach. Great to see you, man. Great, thank you.